maybe the place to begin when talking about our collaborative online worship experience is to show you the greeting that we've been playing at the beginning of those services. Good morning and welcome to the combined online worship service of Plymouth United Church of Christ in Goshen, Bourbon First United Church of Christ, St. Peter's United Church of Christ in South Bend, First United Church of Christ in Bremen, St. John's United Church of Christ and and Holy Trinity Lutheran Church in South Bend. Wait, I thought you said that I was the pastor of St. Peter's? Isn't that what you just said? Come on, people. It's not that confusing. You see, it's just that. They're twins, Bowie and Bowie. Actually, that's not it. You're not twins? I don't even have a brother, at least one that looks anything like me. You two aren't even related? Oh, that's amazing. The resemblance is uncanny. I don't see it. Can we just, just move on? Sure. Now, what was it we were talking about? We just wanted to say, no matter who you are, who you love, or how you look, or how much you look like someone else, you are welcome here. Or where you've been. How far you've come. Or how far you have yet to go. No matter where you are on life's journey, you are welcomed here. I loved our collaborative greeting. Being a part of a community of pastors, delivering that familiar UCC welcome was powerful and fun. Our members were touched by the message and the effort. That's the most rewarding part of it all, collaborating with passionate pastors, creative content providers, gifted computer techies, being confronted and challenged and cajoled by different visions of ministry in the church. And together we found a way for the church to sing a new song in the strange land of pandemic and lockdown. When we first started the online services, it seemed so difficult, but it was fun and amazing to see so many more members each week becoming tech savvy along with me. Our growth in this area is sure to continue. It was enlightening to find new ways to communicate and to share information. This is hugely important to the success of any church, which is why Zoom collaboration should be utilized whenever deemed suitable to form bonds. I have to say that the, the people in the churches and the congregations that have tuned in, they've been so positive and so supportive. You know, that's been uplifting. This has been the church's moment to shine using every means possible to share the good news and to meet everyone's need as clearly as possible and to use innovation to do it. Um, it's been a real learning experience for me um, because I really needed in seminary to have a class called Technology 101 for Pastors. There's a sense in which we might be on the cusp of a reformation of sorts, birthing a collaborative ecclesial venture into being. Though we are six congregations separated by space, divided by tradition and history, when we gather together, whether in worship or in Bible study, even though just virtually, we are the church for a new day. So there's no use pretending that online worship is the same as in-person worship. In fact, I think there are opportunities to uh, draw attention to some of the limitations. Uh, this past Sunday, it was my turn to give the final blessing. And uh, I did so while standing on a step ladder as a way of indicating that it had farther to go in order to reach them. However, this format also allows you to do things that you can't, or at least I never have, uh, done in in, per, in an in-person worship setting. For instance, uh, I, was, I was given the task of introducing the, offer, the offering, and I created a musical score to accompany my introduction because uh, Apple has the program uh, GarageBand, which supplies you with all these uh, instrumental loops, a wide range of instruments and I first chose this one guitar loop and ran that 
throughout. But then, at a key point, I dropped in a second loop. To have the curtain pulled back, to see a greater reality, a deeper truth than our immediate reality, an immediate truth. Right? I mean, that bass, boom. I mean, you feel that deeper truth. We are the church for a new day, and that can outlive any pandemic.